Hello everyone, welcome to Harry B's Creative Minds Tech Channel. Um, today I'm going to be talking about um, how you use um, ClipChamp, which is one of my favorite um, video editing tools um, of choice to um, do some simple edits on your videos. So let's jump straight into it. I will share my copy of ClipChamp. You can go to the Microsoft Store and download ClipChamp or just do a search for ClipChamp and uh, download the free version onto your uh, laptop or your PC and simply install. Um, I fired mine up. You just go to Start menu of Microsoft Office and then it will be in your Programs menu. Um, so yeah, this is what you would first see, ClipChamp Video Editor. Just take you through some very simple things, uh, some tools. Um, the plus button is how you add your video. So if you click to browse, um, I've got one video over there. So I'm just going to click and open. And as you see on the left, it says preparing. Um, and that's the software just preparing the video file. And it's um, pulling in, it's at 0%. It will go up. Um, and whilst that's processing, um, you have, I'll just go through some other tools. Um, here we have uh, record and create. And um, basically that is your video camera. And what it does, it just records and recreates. You can see it's come through now, it's 3.58. And um, I'll just go to record and create. And these are a couple of options as well. Um, that you can add to your timeline, uh, screen camera, camera recording. I click on that. This is what it looks like. You press on the red button and you'll start to record. Um, and then you've got screen recording as well. Click on that. It will record the screen. I'll just stop that. So that's how you do screen recording. Um, and then you can also do text to speech as well. Click on that. And then if you you can put the text in like something like John, and you press the preview, yeah. and you can save it as well to your local as well. So and then you've got some voices, you've got Jenny, you've got all sorts of voices. Let's just try maybe Eric Moskowin. and Moskowin. Click on John. Yeah. That's, so that's a male's voice. And you've also got the different um, countries as well, language types, United Kingdom, various types. So it's worth trying it out. Then you've got the templates as well, various templates that you can search for. You've got YouTube templates. You click on any one of them. It will give you a number of options. I would suggest go for the free ones um, so that you don't run into any license issues. And basically, you could just... The clicking add is just adding it to your timeline. So if I click add here, it just imports this um, channel name. This goes importing, takes a while. You can see your channel name will be imported. Still importing. And whilst it's importing, I'll just show you some of the others. Um, you've got, this is my video, quite a few options if you scroll all the way down. Um, and if you go to uh, music options as well, you'll see music uh, options that will come up. And we, again, go for the free to use. You can add these musics just by adding the plus sign to the timeline. Um, you've also got videos as well that you can add. You've got um, stock images. Again, use the free ones. Um, you can add text. You can add graphics. You can add, um, you've got various backgrounds. You've got solid color, depending on what you want. Um, and then you've got transitions, which will put some transitions on your videos. 
Um, and then brand is um, where you can just put some branding on your videos as well. So you've got ad logos, ad colors. Um, and this is the, you've seen now the video, it's the intro video that's just um, uh, been added. So if I click on play. So that was one of the options that came up in the templates. Um, so this is the YouTube channel, and this is the one that we added in. Um, and that is that can be an introduction for your um, channel. If you click on the video again, stop, double click on the uh, text, and you can change the uh, channel name. So the And that will be your introduction. Um, so yeah, I'll just show you one or two other things um, in terms of how you can add your, so to add your video. So let's just say that this is your channel name, this is your introduction. Then you want to add your video. So I'll just browse to my local drive and get a video, open that. And that should now be on my timeline. So if we try again. So your media, try that again. So then you just click on add. And it should add the video to the timeline. So I'm just dragging it here. And you can see that it's been added to a timeline on the main video. If I click on play. <laughs> go backwards and then what you want to do is push the video so when the introduction finishes the new the video which you've added um, continues so I'll just click on go back again so you can see that and it goes straight onto the video which I just added so and that's how you add um, uh, videos onto the timeline. Um, and then what we could also do is, let's have a look. You can also add some text to some of the um, videos. So just click on add. This is a push through text. Double click on the image and just put something like testing. Double click, single click again, and then that is now on um, the uh, video as well. So look, but you can move it up, just move it further down. And basically, you add um, things like videos, things like music. And you can move them around, as you can see, are just dragging them to whichever timeline you want it to appear in. Um, and the only other thing that I think would be useful to know is the export button. Um, you click on export, and it gives you a couple of options. Um, that you can export it as 480p, which is just for drafts, 720p, which is for social media. Uh, 108, which is for um, a high definition, and then uh, GIF, which is just for a, a normal GIF. Um, and don't forget to title your video as well. Um, let's just do an export, uh, export as I don't know, uh, social media. Don't forget to give the video a title um, where you see the edit button. I just call this testing. It takes a while to, before the um, conversion starts. Then you have another number of options. You can save it to your Google Drive. You can uh, upload it to YouTube, send to TikTok, save to OneDrive, and pin, Pinterest, quite a few others. Um, so if we said, for example, upload to YouTube, you can see it'll ask, this is the file name, it's called testing. The default description is this video was made with um, ClipChamp. I would suggest removing this. 
um, so it's relevant to what your video description is. And then for video privacy, we've got public, private, unlisted. Unlisted is, it will be on your channel, but no one will be able to see it unless you give them the link. Um, public, everyone will be able to see it. Private, um, that's just for you, yourself, unless you share the link. And then you've also got the categories. All these options is what you'll see when you um, are uploading um, a video straight onto YouTube. But what ClipChamp does is they incorporate it into um, the video editing software. So it makes it easier for you to do the upload um, directly into uh, YouTube. Uh, same for TikTok and all the others. And um, yeah, that's it in a nutshell. Um, if you want to keep editing, keep press on keep editing. If you like this um, video, um, please subscribe to my channel. Um, I'd like to um, hear from you your comments on whether this was useful. Um, and yeah, just let me know what else you think would be a good um, video for me to share in terms of knowledge, um, whether that's uh, video knowledge or any other topics. Thank you for viewing my video. Thanks.